Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a full face of nothing new. So um, it's a long overdue video using the products that I had in my makeup advent calendar. I'll put the link to that video down below. It's where I made Josh pick out um, some random products in my collection and I made a, like a an advent calendar but with makeup and it actually turned out really good. The products he chose, it's like enough to do almost a full face. So yeah, I just want to use those products today also just to get use out of them and yeah i guess it's just gonna be a get ready with me i feel really weird because i haven't filmed a video <laughs> in a long time um but i plan on filming um a few videos today so hopefully i'll have like one video a week for quite some time um because yeah i am working from home because of coronavirus <laughs> Which like, I don't even know how to discuss this here, but I'll let the experts um, give you that information. But yeah, so I guess I have a lot of free time to edit and film videos, <laughs> which I guess is one bright side of this. So yeah, I guess I'll just get started because this might be a long video. Um, there was no primer in the advent calendar. Obviously it was all like pretty small compact products that I um, had for him to choose from. So I think I want to try my Makeup Forever Reboot Foundation again. If you didn't see that video, I did like a wear test and review on this. But that was kind of like a first impressions because that was the first day that I was trying it. It's this one here. Um, I have tried it a few times since. I'm trying to make this work because everyone's raving about it, but I just feel like it looks very makeup-y on my skin. And yeah, maybe it's because I have dry skin, but it's just like, it doesn't look the greatest. So I've tried it like with a brush, with a sponge. I've tried using less product, I've tried building it up, and it kind of just always looks the same. So I'm going to try a different primer with it today though. I want to use my, um, what is this called? Physician's Formula Spotlight Illuminating Primer. Um, this is in my seasonal makeup basket, but I haven't been using it much. I did use it one day. Um, as like a liquid highlighter and it doesn't work for that so this is really gonna be a primer so don't like buy this thinking it's a liquid highlighter because it doesn't go on top of makeup very well so I'm gonna do one pump I guess it's very metallic so I'm a little scared but we'll see how it looks <laughs> it doesn't like smell like anything really and I already had like my skincare on so my face was already pretty hydrated I just did another pump because that was not enough yeah <laughs> I think you can see on camera that it's very um it's very glowy it feels like a bit sticky but I don't mind that in a primer because if it was like all oily and slippery it probably would not be good under makeup so yeah that's what that looks like this has like a lot of other claims too it's like supposedly age defying um, formula so I don't remember exactly because there's nothing written on the bottle and I threw out the box but yeah um, I also need to put some lip balm on because my lips are dry and I need some tea. <laughs> this is my spring mug. Well, one of them. I bought another one for Easter, which I'm going to do like a spring home decor haul because there's so many cute things this year. It's, 
yeah, it's a bit crazy. But yeah, I really like this. This is uh, from David's Tea. I got it for my birthday. But I've been using like a, a more autumnal mug, I guess, which I need to put away. <laughs> But I'm still drinking pumpkin spice tea. Mostly because I needed some caffeine. And all my other teas are like for soothing, like bedtime. So, yeah. Anyway. I don't know why I went off on a tangent about that. But I guess this is like good to put makeup on top of now. So, I'm just going to use one pump of this with my Real Technique sponge. By the way, I washed my brushes finally. I'm sure you were all waiting to hear about that. <laughs> but, um, and I washed this sponge and I don't know if I like dug my nail into it, but I totally have like a big hole in it now, if you can see. So I don't know how much longer this <laughs> will last me. But um, this is, I don't know if this is the same as the orange sponge from Real Techniques because I got this one in like a holiday set. So, yeah, I'm not sure if it's the same quality. So that's what one pump looks like. I think you can see the primer still coming through um but already like the foundation itself it's not very matte it just looks cakey a bit i don't know it does look better right now so we'll see how it wears yeah i don't want to put any more product on though i'm still trying to use up this like barbie by cake lip balm it's like ancient but it still smells so good and the formula is actually really good so I haven't thrown it out I honestly should have exfoliated but too late now for my concealer I've been using my bare minerals bare skin a lot well it's the only concealer I have in my basket right now but I really like this a lot it's the um, Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. It's very nice. And I think it goes well with this foundation. Because they're both like... Um, pretty like light natural finish. But the Makeup Forever, you can build it up because the first time I used it, I used like three pumps and it was very, um, it wasn't like sheer at all. It actually looked pretty like, almost like a medium to full coverage foundation. So I think I'm going to move on to the eyes before I finish the rest of my face. So I did have one palette in my advent calendar. It's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 3. So I finally figured out, well not that I was like, that I've tried it that much, but whenever you touch this palette it almost feels like they're cream shadows and it doesn't seem like they would pick up with a brush. So I was like, is this like really going to be very difficult to use but then I was watching I think it was Jen Felt I'm not sure though but um, she said that you use these shadows with your finger to get the best payoff and I was like oh that makes sense because you can just see like how not powdery they are I don't know how to describe it really and there's only one matte shade in this palette, this one here, and it's very light. So I don't know how like many people would get use out of this, but I will say as like one shadow looks, um, I used this shade already and it was really nice. 
so yeah I guess it depends like what kind of looks you do but this is going to be for like a really natural um, look so I will go in with the matte shade with that one I mean yeah it picks up with the finger but normally I don't I don't put a matte shade on with my finger normally but yeah it feels like a cream to powder finish almost Like, you can barely tell that I have eyeshadow on. It's a very light shade. So for my lid, I think I'm feeling more like a pink look today. So I'm gonna go in with this shade with my finger at first. It's just called Heat Wave. See how like shiny it is? it's so nice but yeah I don't know how I feel about putting shadows on with my finger like especially when all the shades like it's all the same formula so you have to do that no matter what color you use I think I do want to deepen it up a bit though so I'll try and find a dense brush that might work maybe this one this is by the Vintage Cosmetic Company. There's no like name on it. I got it in a BoxyCharm set. So I'm gonna take a bit of this darkest shade here, Malibu. Yeah, see like when you use a brush, it barely picks up. You pick up like mostly just the sparkle part. So I'm just trying to like do like an outer V kind of motion but like I said it's hard to get the pigmentation with a brush so I'm gonna try and use some of that matte shade for my um, lower lash line just to give some kind of definition and a bit of that dark shade just for the corner to like um, meet it with the the eyelid yeah so I don't think you would like this palette if you're not like a more so I think you would only like this palette if you like really simple natural looks and like I said like one shadow looks like you could just put your finger in one of these shades, put it on the lid. It looks really nice, but it's not going to be like very impactful or, and you don't get like a lot of depth with this either. Um, I got this in a boxy charm, I'm pretty sure. And I got another one, the more like smoky version, which I haven't, I don't think I've used it yet. But now that I know like how the formula works, I'll try that one too and see how I like it. But I also got um, another eyeshadow. Well, Josh picked me out this. Um, I don't know what it's called because it's not in its original packaging, but it's this like blue metallic shade. Oh my God, can I open this? This like blue metallic shade from Makeup Forever. I think these have been discontinued because they have square pans now but um yeah my cousin gifted me this so i want i thought maybe i could tie this in somehow you know how people put like a colorful shadow on the lower lash line i'm gonna try that actually because i just feel like this is too simple not that i don't normally wear simple looks but for the sake of getting use out of these products. Can you use this like angled flat brush? I think this is from Forever 21. So it's like 
not the best quality but it's the kind of shape that I need right now and I'm just gonna stamp it on can you even see that maybe I should wet my brush oh yeah definitely wetting these makes the most impact and I don't want to bring it in all the way because I want to put like a brighter shade on the inner corner okay I don't want to put too much but that's what that looks like I think it will come together with like lashes and stuff um, I did have two eyeliners in in my advent calendar and I normally don't use liquid liner but I have some because uh, I keep getting them in boxy charms. So this one is the Hank and Henry Slick With It liquid eyeliner. It's in the shade Blickety Black. It's a long wear liquid eyeliner. Um, and I also had gotten this in a boxy charm. This is the Pretty Vulgar The Ink Gel Eyeliner in Blacklist. I'm not going to use a gel liner today. That's just too ambitious for me. I think I tried this already, but I didn't do a wing with it. I just like lined my upper lash line with it. So this could go horribly wrong, but I mean, this we're just, you know, playing with makeup today. I will maybe attempt to do a little wing. So this is a brush tip liner, looks like this, it swatches very smoothly. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not even sure if you'll be able to see what I'm doing, so yeah, I'll just report back <laughs> when I'm done. Okay, that's already way thicker than I wanted it to be, <laughs> oh dear. But it's pretty easy to use considering I'm terrible at liquid eyeliner and I don't even remember the last time I attempted this so Whoa, that went right in my eyeball Okay, I definitely need to fix <laughs> That one is way too thick Thankfully I have this um, pen from e.l.f. It's um, like a makeup remover pen It's getting a bit dry but Still does the trick. I'm just going back in with the blue because now it kind of looks like it disjointed because it's like there's a space between the blue and the black eyeliner. Just wetting my brush again. I kind of um, like stamped it under the wing itself. Um, I think that looks kind of cool. But yeah, this wing is way thicker than I wanted it to be. But because I have like a crease in my lid there, I was trying like this technique. I think it was um, Jamie French. Um, she does like a technique for hooded eyes where like you leave your eye resting and you kind of like draw across the crease. And it worked really well, but your eyeliner ends up being pretty thick on the lid itself so yeah I need to practice that some more and some of the liner like because it's so thick when I open my eye it transferred to the top here so I'll try and fix that later but I think I need to put like an inner corner highlight now and mascara and hopefully this will come together <laughs> So I'm going back in with this palette. I think I want to use, yeah, this shade here, um, Escape. It's like a champagne shade. Just put a touch on my brow bone. And for mascara, I'm still using my milk. Um, I'm trying to use this up, even though I don't love it. It was expensive <laughs> and it's not dried out yet so yeah this kind of look would 
look really nice with some fake eyelashes like ones that went out towards the end but I already I'm going I already went way out of my comfort zone <laughs> with this so I don't think I want to attempt lashes today well it looks better with mascara on I'll have to fix some of that later <laughs> but um, let's put some bronzer on so this is the one Josh picked out which I was excited for because it's one of my favorites it's um, the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker bronzer in Shady Biz this is a mini of course I've showed this many times on my channel already so looks like this it's a matte bronzer I will say this um, bronzer is quite pigmented but it blends out so easily so I'm never like um, scared when I'm using it that I'll put too much it's just like so smooth I'm making my hair crazy and the only thing that wasn't in there was a blush so I think I'm just gonna pull out my Makeup Forever Trio here and use this like corally pink blush. I think it would go really well with the eye look. This is turning like into a very spring vibe I feel which is good. <laughs> I can't recognize my brushes now that they're clean. Like this was red <laughs> before and now it's white. If I remember correctly, this is quite pigmented, yes. And I think I mentioned in another video that I started to put my blush like high up here now. Um, I think it looks better on my face because I was putting it too low before and I had blush like down here, which I don't want. I just like it like across my face. This lighting is so bad. And yeah, you can barely see what I'm doing. But I am gonna buy a light. I don't know if you guys watch Carly Bible, but she just did a video on like how her filming setup is. And she shared like this, the light she uses. It's not even a ring light, it's like a square LED light. And the difference it makes is crazy and it's only like 60 bucks I think whereas like a ring light is over a hundred normally so I think I'm just gonna get that instead and for highlighter I have my mini Becca opal this was in my 2019 favorite I use this a lot when I travel because it looks better when I have more of like a sun-kissed skin whereas like I'm very pale right now so by the way I was supposed to go on vacation next week and we had to cancel because of obviously what's going on with the coronavirus and yeah that's kind of disappointing but it's better to be safe than sorry right because if anything happens and like we can't get home, that's not going to be good. And anyway, um, Canadians are banned from non-essential travel. So I'm not even sure if we would be uh, able, like allowed to go anyway. So we just canceled and we're going to push it back. So yeah, I was looking forward to it because like I'm sick of winter. Even though it's spring now, it's still very cold here for this time of year and I was hoping to get some sun, <laughs> but yeah, life happens. See how like smooth that is? It's not powdery at all. That's why I love these highlighters from Becca. Okay, I also have another eye product. It's a mini Stila, um... Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow in the shade Kitten Karma 
I'm very tempted to put this on my lid, <laughs> but also scared. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do this because it's gonna look weird on top of the eyeliner, I feel. So, yeah, I'll keep this around. But I have used it since um, it's been in this rotation. Um, and yeah, it was really pretty. So, I don't think I would ever buy a full size of this because they're just, it's just something like I would not use often enough. And I heard they get, they dry out really easily. So to spend, I think it's like $32 Canadian on the full size, it's just not worth it. So I'm glad I have this little one. I think this was um, a freebie actually from Sephora. Like you know when you order online and there's like promotions. Um, I think that's how I got that. Um, for eyebrows, so I did actually have this e.l.f. Um, brow gel, I guess it's called. There's one side that's supposed to be for eyelashes and one for brows. But like, I tried the eyelash part and it just made my eyelashes really like hard and crispy. So I'm not going to use it for that. I think I'll just end up using both sides for eyebrow gel because I don't know, it seems to be the same formula anyway. But I will put on my Essence Make Me Brow first. This is another product I don't love, but I'm trying to use up before I buy something else. I feel like the color is just too, like, taupey for me. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll go over it with the e.l.f. brow gel to see what that does. Um, but I want to put a lip product on. I got some good choices here. So I have, well first I have this. It's a plump line lip liner from Buxom in White Russian. This, I don't know why I bought this because it's like a baby pink lip liner. Like when am I going to use that? So I figured it would only be useful like to put in the middle of your lips to like do an ombre effect so I'm gonna try and use it for that um, but I also have this YSL what are these called? Rouge Pure Couture yeah lipstick I guess in the shade 70 I think this one is called Le Nude but the name isn't on this one. I really like this lipstick. Um, and I also have a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Bond Girl. I got this in a Sephora favorite set, I'm pretty sure. It looks like this. So it's more like a deep mauve shade. And my NARS um, Orgasm Lip Gloss, which I love, was in my 2019 favorites. Um, so I have like a lot of good choices, but I guess for this look, we're going to have to go with a nude because I don't want to do anything more really. I could try and put this in the middle just to see what it does. So that's the color on its own. It's like a pinky nude, I guess. But let's see what this looks like in the middle. I mean, it just kind of lightened it a bit. And these have like a brush on the other end. So you can like blend them together, which is a pretty good idea. I don't hate it. Should I put lip gloss on top? I think so. <laughs> Yes, that made it better. That made it more like a peachy nude, which goes better with my blush and eye look, I feel. So just to put some of this e.l.f. brow gel on now. I never use brow gel. Maybe I should. Because I do like my eyebrows to look more fluffy and like sticking up. I don't have, I have like very fine eyebrow hairs. I have a lot of them, but they're very fine and light. So it helps 
to have something like this, I think. So I think that's it. I sh I'm just going to use some of my um, Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I was using this to wet my brush too, which normally I would use Fix Plus, but um, I'm trying to get use out of this. so refreshing. Oh, and I did want to fix my mascara on this eye. And this eyeliner here. Oh, that's not going to come off with that. Let me see if I can cover that with more eyeshadow. <laughs> yes, that worked. Okay, so considering I just winged this and I would never like do this kind of look normally. It's not that bad. Yeah, I think it came together pretty good. My face looks very shiny and I'm pretty sure it's this. Yeah, I didn't even use that much of it, but it's just, it's very glowy. I don't hate it. And I only put one pump foundation over top. So I obviously if you put more and if you use like a full coverage foundation you wouldn't see it as much but yeah i kind of like that glowy look especially since i have very dry skin but i guess that's it for this video i hope you liked it it was not very exciting maybe <laughs> um but yeah i think it's fun to do like um, videos using older products because like everything on YouTube is very like new 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 what's the newest thing and then you never hear about it again so it's like good to go back sometimes and see what's actually good so I think I yeah I did like pretty much everything I used today although like I said about the palette you won't like this if you like very impactful um, bright looks that you know you can get a lot of depth out of which like I'm pretty sure you would know from looking at this that what kind of looks you're getting anyway but yeah um that's it so I hope you liked this video and if you did give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video bye